name thyself, stranger. I am Yoshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. Hmm? You know not of this company? It is a nightless company at the moment. Not a single soul has been able to reach me here. Thou must have journeyed far, didst thou not? This solitary tower is my prison. Long have I remained here, alone. The path below has long been impassable, so I must ask, by what means didst thou reach me? Thou cannot have scaled these walls. The silver knight surrounding this place would have shot thee down. Art thou a creature of the air? Dost thou have wings? Perhaps like a dragon or a crow? <laughs> ah, yes. I knew thou must be a wondrous beast. Thou art strangely familiar. Although, I don't understand why. Oh, dost thou wish to learn of the Dark Moon Knights? The purpose of our company is to watch over and protect those champions who link the fire. These champions follow the will of our father, Gwyn who long ago became a cinder of his own will. However, the last Dark Moon Knight was lost long ago. Only the Covenant still remains, and I as captain. Thou wishest to become a blade of the Dark Moon? Very well, I shall give thee purpose. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Dost thou wish to learn more of Father Gwyn? I know little about the world, but what Brother Gwendolyn taught me. Dost thou wish us to hear all the same? Yes, I see. Well, before the Age of Fire came the Age of Ancient. It was a world yet undeveloped, a land of grey covered with huge arch trees and shrouded in vaporous clouds. It was at this time that the everlasting dragons ruled over the world, but with the advent of fire, a new age was born, and the dragons were overthrown. Our father Gwyn was a god, and the king of all Lordra in the Age of Fire. But eventually the fire began to fade, so Father Gwyn travelled to the kiln of the first flame to link the fire 
and prolong this glorious age. This is all I know. Now, thou must fulfill thy duty. Punish those guilt-soaked offenders of the gods and leave their corpses as a warning to others who deign to offend. But sever their ears and bring them to me as proof of a concord kept. I shall reward thy valiance. May the dark moon watch over thee. Good blade of the dark moon, welcome home, if I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. Ah, my blade, thy deeds merit great worship, and as captain, I shall honour thine accomplishment. Please. Take this. It is not given lightly. It is a ring of Brother Gwendolyn's, youngest son of Gwyn. When Gwendolyn was captain of the Dark Moon Knights, he would bestow this ring upon the most valiant. Now I do the same in his stead. Yes, that is right. I was not always captain of this company. My elder brother, the dark son Gwendolyn, fell ill, and so I was his successor. I fear I shall never live up to the precedence he set as captain of the Dark Moon Knight. Try as I might, but thy deeds have given me a new hope for this company. Oh, how I wish you could meet Gwendolyn, had not Sullivan wrongfully proclaimed himself pontiff and imprisoned me in this tower, I might have been able to introduce you to my dear brother. But now I know not where he is, and he surely knows nothing of my whereabouts, or he would have come to me long ago. If thy journey happens to lead you to Gwendolyn, be sure to tell him his sister, Yoshka, misses him dreadfully. Tell him I will do my best. To uphold his legacy. The ringing of this chime is the only thing that soothes my loneliness. It was a gift given to me by Gwendolyn, along with my name. It is the thing I treasure most in the world. I've said too much. You must leave me again, but return soon, my blade of the dark moon. Welcome home, good blade of the dark moon. Ah, thy deeds have again been great. These ears of the guilty, shrunken and drained of blood, prove that you are a true, devoted knight of the Dark Moon. I must reward your fealty. Please, take this miracle. It will imbue your blade with the glorious light of the Dark Moon. 
Hmm? Thou wishest to know where I learnt such a miracle. Twas from thy brother, Gwendolyn, of course. I do wish I was able to teach you the meaning of such miracles. But I know very little. When thou meet my brother, he will be able to impart such knowledge to thee. What dost thou speak of? Thou hast seen my brother here, in Anolando. Didst thou tell him where to find me? No. Why ever not? Such betrayal from mine own good blade. What? No. That cannot be true. My dear brother, Gwendolyn, being consumed by Aldrich, devourer of gods, thy words are but a cruel deception. I know not what thy motives are, and I may not understand much of this world, but of my brother's power, I am certain. He would never allow such a despicable monster to consume him. He would never abandon me, sir. No, he shall return to me one day, of that I am certain. Leave me now, thou art banished from this company of dark moon knights. Do not return again. 